this morning, and I'm going to take my time. I ain't going to tell you a little while. I'm going to take my time this morning. I'm going to talk to you from Genesis 12. Genesis 12. The first through the fifth verses I will read for your consideration. The Lord has said to Abram, Leave your country, your people, and your father's household, and go to the land I will show you. I will make unto a, you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. And whoever curses you, I will curse. So all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram left as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. He took wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated and the people they had acquired in Haran. And they set out for the land of Canaan and they arrived there. Please forgive me. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Please forgive me. I am an AME. And I say that proudly because this is the place that I choose to work until I go to sleep. This is the place that I work out my salvation. And so we have certain things we do in AME and it's called protocol. Please forgive me, please forgive me. To the Right Reverend William Phillips DeVoe, presiding president of the 6th Episcopal District, and Patricia Ann Morris DeVoe, uh, supervisor of the Women's Missionary Society. To presiding elder Jacqueline Smith, and her spouse, and to the Reverend Nathaniel Brown, to the 130th Anniversary Committee members, to uh, St. Timothy officers, members, and friends, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I bring you greetings on behalf of Bishop McKinley Young, who presides in the 11th Episcopal District that encompasses Florida and the Bahama Islands, and Dorothy Jackson Young, our supervisor of missions and minister spouses uh, alliance. Also, I bring you greetings from the Alachua Central District, where I preside and supervise 24 churches and 24 pastors. Amen. We bring you greetings in the matchless name of Jesus, all of our Lord and Savior. Amen. I got that out of the way. The Holy Spirit told me that, but Minister Keith had me so high, Lord have mercy. God bless you. And thank you, Sister Green, for that wonderful introduction. Amen. She knows that I say that I am living proof of the Word of God. Train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart may sneak off a little while. But your heart is void if that seed has been planted. And so God's word is true and I am living proof. It takes vision to get the victory. And to your neighbor and say it takes vision to get the victory. Yeah. 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 How you doing? Yeah. All the way from Francis Lake. Thank you. Yeah. Pinky's 
Sarah. How you doing? Sneaked off of St. Peter this morning, didn't you? Amen. I thank you. I began this message by introducing you to a very famous woman. Many of you may already know her or have read about her in history books. Her name is Helen Keller. 